Hey there, fellow Corsairs of Tolfalos, Rodamont here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Death of the Isle. Episode 39, Rescued, but not saved. All right. Our adventurers are here to rescue Verum, the mm, psychopathic masochist, the teenage Urukai, And I need to make sure that the dangerous people are identified. So there's a arcane mage here, potentially dangerous. Oh, uh, what the hell was that noise? Oh, uh, uh death stingers. Okay. Bye bye, arcane mage. All right, he's taken care of. Uh, looking for dangerous bows. So Meryl here has a Illithin Ranger bow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back up, lure them away, pull them out of cover. You have a Mirkwell, a Mirkwood bow. You're dead. The melee is a kind of following shield, which is good. Given a range breathing room. J Fry, you need cover. Done. All right, that snowball was super effective. Absolutely blasted everyone there. And they are fleeing. Shield's like, but I wasn't able to. No, don't worry, dude. I got you. You did not get hit by snowballs, so you're lucky. Because I was not that careful. Bye-bye, Gavin. So, you are sickly. Uh, you know what? I know what to do with someone sickly. Gotta put them down. All your base are belong to us. Oh, and also thank you for the meals, because in coming over here to rescue our dear friend, what was your name again? Varum? Uh, we were going to run out of food, but uh, you elves? Yeah, you're going to keep us fed. I don't even need to butcher you. Also, you seem to be very confused about your uh, employment here, uh, because you have a Soul Reaper mask, like you're some sort of um, necromancer, but you're not. Hmm men or elf flesh all right crimson you're the best doctor so shall we tend to verum here while we see about the loot we get ah good yes just a bunch of granite with a pickaxe and verum has choosed chosen choose chosen to join us um, I am going to make a special exception for Verum. Technically speaking, he should be immediately enslaved. Because he does not have any traits that warrant... Um, that warrant being a colonist. But um, running around in a caravan with a slave is kind of obnoxious. So for that reason... Uh, I am going to allow him to be colonist until we get home. Because I don't want to have to deal with enslaving him. So, 
Yeah, bending the rules, but like I think you all probably understand why. It, it's a pretty good reason. And the giveaway timer. GMT. Do you uh do you have someone already? My memory is shot. Also, the naming of people was all screwed up when I was trying to name people because of the whole elf thing. You forget as well. Okay. We're going to go with no. So if you want to uh, name your character, the character details redemption is open. So they're going to, uh, these guys are going to run out of food on the way home. So what I could do is J Fry, you're going to eat. Beers and agave. And then you eat meat and Mackey. And hopefully we uh, get home faster. I don't, I don't know. Maybe we have to run out there with food or something. Did I take the food? I did, I believe. Take the, maybe I didn't. No, I took the meals. I think what it is, actually, is the dried meat and mackey does not allow meals. So, simple meals and fine meals will be added, and then I, they should be fine. Once it recalculates. It doesn't recalculate in real time. So, Zeke, you made a ranger uh, book. Uh, it's fine. Become a ranger. That works. D d d d uh, yeah. Cool. I'm I'm okay with that. That's an acceptable class. It does look like you're straight out of uh uh like a Loxley novel. Like your name should be like Big John or something. Which is kind of hilarious. Yeah, not Little John. I'm, I'm, I don't want to be hit with copyright infringement. That's why I said Big John. Guys, guys, come on. I'm trying to end my career? <laughs> uh, yeah. Nice. Well, having a second bowman is pretty convenient. And then, um, uh, what to do about the, about Verum? Is that his name? I keep forgetting his name. Verum, yeah. Um, slave, might, magic, organs. Very straightforward. So, he can be a slave, because if he isn't given a gem of insight of some to some sort, that's all he's worth to us. Um, we alternatively could uh, uh, could harvest his organs, uh, make a might or magic. Oh, Earth Sprite's on cooldown. Annoying. Yeah, and, and skills wise, so to be to be fair, skills wise, he's rather worthless. But who cares when you're a mage? Magic is not a skill. Might is a skill, but magic isn't a skill. So this is this is who he is. He's a ma masochistic psychopath with no skills, but and he also doesn't even believe in our own ideology. So there's a lot that needs to happen if he's going to join us. Otherwise, we can. Um, Take his organs. So what's the difference between mind magic? So might is either ranged or melee and uses uses someone's native ranged or melee skills, whereas magic doesn't draw upon normal skills. Uh, it looks like you guys wanna reap some organs here. Which is which is fine.
Where is Zeke? Oh, Zeke, that's not your bedroom. This is your bed. You have a much nicer bed than where you were sleeping. And then GMT, did you name your character or anything? I'm gonna call you GMT this way. Yeah, I didn't I didn't see you name anything, so you're currently GMT <laughs> phonetically. But if you want to change it, feel free. My Earth Sprites don't seem to be um, moving around correctly, which is weird. Okay, four days of food, rots 2.4, but they have 2.1 days of travel. And then, uh, Varen here is patched. He's patched up, so eventually he'll be um, moving on his own right. All right, uh, looks like Verum is just going to be an organ donor. Got it. Chat wills it, so I'll call it early. Trying to think of how, so we're coring up limestone chunks. That then we carry to the stockpile and they become infused. Okay, that's correct. But how about we drop them on the ground? We'll be quarrying a lot faster that way. I might want another mine so that I can quarry more. Um, because a huge amount of our bottleneck is magicite, and it's probably easiest to just quarry up a bunch of stone and turn it into magicite. It'll also be easier once um, Shield gets home because he he mines like crazy. Ooh, exotic goods. Unfortunately, Exoticus typically doesn't have a lot of books, but still, it's nice to have Exoticus show up. Tao. I'm going to have to wake you up. We have a lot of cleanup to do. Some of those minions. Oh, they have a goose. I don't really want a goose. I don't have a prison for guarding. So they're selling a magicite? They're selling a whole lot of magicite that I could straight up buy if I could afford it. Uh, I don't mind selling rubies. Um, it would be not too hard. We don't have a fire mage, but we do have an ice mage. So I can sell the ice stone because we can always... Um, Inscribe another ice tome with J-Fry. So that's not an issue. Uh, uh, all of these hides, I we have such an overabundance of leather I can part with. I don't care. Um, the thrombo horns I could sell off. I might want the gold. I'm going to buy the telescope. Because we also need... Um, Rec uh, new recreation types, that's been an issue. And then they don't have the silver for this, so I'm just gonna buy as much magicite as I am able to purchase. As that will solve some problems. So 104, uh, 429 of it. Boom, big trade. Yeah, it's a pretty high markup, but we're pretty desperate. So, you know, I'm okay with it. We definitely don't need to be hunting anytime soon. Our, um, our shelves are pretty stocked. We have a lot of dried meat, so I could probably stop drying out meat. 
Elwyn. Eight resistance away. Oh, you have tattered apparel? Oh no. Here. Uh, actually, let's leave the loincloth on you. One second thought. I don't need to see a, uh, four-year-old Urukai's, uh, you know. Hey, we just made an orbit of the Eternal. Sweet. Uh, what injuries do we even have? So, Thomas, Thomas Toe. It's Galdir Toe. Uh, GMT, Neck and Heart. Uh, heart, actually, we are going to solve a different way. Which is to say, installing a heart, because that's far cheaper. So, good luck, GMT. You're going for heart surgery using herbal medicine in a common room. Um, may Sauron curse your life or something, I don't know. Uh, but then, even when we do the heart, there's that neck injury. Um, Guero with a finger. And then Sildin has just a messed up body. So, who to heal? We have Thomas's toe. Is Gall, Deer's toe. GMT's neck. Guero's finger. Or Sildin's torso and leg. And he survived it. GMT has a new heart. How bad is the next car? Um, 13% efficiency loss. So it's not, not terrible. It's not great. A weird place for Elvis bread. Um, put it on this shelf. They're leaving due to dangerous temperature. <laughs> All right, <laughs> it's fine by me. High and by. The other thing I haven't been doing is setting up zoning. So his Galdir is now set up on the right zone. It just occurred to me that that would be a problem. They're only a day away from home. Nice. Okay. Now. gotta say my um the goblins in the uh in the colony are like always in a really rotten mood i think it's just a result of like goblins being goblins you know i, I don't think that the mod pack for the goblins or urukai were really designed in a way intended for them to be used and as a result of that they are not very balanced in that they hate recreation and fine dining but like need it to not fall apart if that makes sense which it doesn't really make sense to me but it's just the way it is unfortunate
GMT's correct zoning is set up. Yep. And work is set up. Yeah. And it looks like you guys want to heal GMT's neck too. So he's getting a pretty clean bill of health all of a sudden. Uh, so good for him. I'm a little worried that administering the Orb of the Eternal will just heal the anesthesia. Uh, but if that's the case, I'll use dev mode to correct. Because, you know, sometimes the game's like, I'm going to do stupid things. Anesthesia, yeah, that's a critical health condition. No, okay, it cured the gunshot. That's good. All right, Varen, you're finally walking, or Verum. What, Verern? I don't even know what your name is, dude. I think it's Verern. Uh, you're finally walking on your own. That's good. I like when my organs jiggle on their own. Self-propelled. <laughs> Porgon, thank you for the, uh, the resub. And, uh, I'm sorry to hear about your, uh, your color blindness. The news really came out of the, out of the purple and blindsided you. All right, there we go. We have got, oops, that's not what I meant to do. Copy all bills, link all bills. There we go. So now we have triple limestone quarry. That way we can infuse chunks and have magic. Because that is important. GMT. I'm going to tell... Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Everyone not to hunt. And then GMT, you're going to hunt. Because I think you need practice. And Cribs of Rest, thank you for the uh, the gifted sub. Cheers. All right, I think the sprites ran its course. And it actually worked this time where it like filled up the entire uh, contiguous zone, which is nice. It's supposed to, but it often doesn't. So Thomas, new sprites. You guys are home in just a third of a day. I have a lot of idleness in the colony. Um, so what sort of goal should I have? Uh, construction. If you want me to construct something. Crafting. If you want better arms, armor, ar uh, you know, something like that. Or other viewer suggestions. Other might be like organization, efficiencies, eh, whatever comes to mind. It's largely leaving it up to you guys to drive the goals at this point. GMT, I just, uh, it just occurred to me, you don't have a quiver. There you go. Let's also set up the telescope. Um, I'll set it up he here. Somewhere. Somewhere it's not likely to get destroyed. Here, right there. That works. Somewhere it's not likely to get destroyed, but in a shared space between goblins, orkai, and humans, so they both can use it. Because if I put it in the normal... Well, you know what? I could... Never mind. Let me, let me do that better. I will put it... Right here. Because that is also a shared space, but, you know. 
in a nicer room, more beautiful room. So things are definitely getting tidied up, which is good. Um, let's see. Hey, bud. You guys want a crafting goal. So the current goal right now is to... I still... Well, all right, let me finish up the heart facility because we're almost done actually um the walls are done the floor is smooth we're just we're just um getting the walls smooth and then all that i would need to do here is to stick a few how much uh, cloth do i have i could do leather yeah, let me do leather pets. Earl Gray, thank you for the uh, the bits. I like your name. I am also a fan of the Earl Grey. So the quality of the beds don't really matter too much because they are beds for, for you know, tearing hearts out of enemy prisoners the quality is not a major factor Varen here Varen whatever your name is I, I don't know what your name is your name is heart heart here is well going to have his heart extracted also occurs to me I haven't really been sewing herbal medicine so that might be something good to put into the farm fields sometime soon so that we have more medicine for, you know, evil deeds. Well, uh, Hart had a lot of silver stuck up where the sun don't shine. Uh, and here is the loveliness of this uh, efficient, efficient processing facility. So, Butcher Human Likes, I will temporarily allow colonists because I don't want Hart to be buried as we're just eating him. And then take that off. So, hey, it's been, um, christened? <laughs> Maybe that's the wrong, wrong term. It's been you've used for the first time ever. Yeah, we'll go with that. I just realized I have to break this castle wall to gain access to smoothing that, but oh, it's just about done. So crafting, uh, you guys want me to craft, uh, what sort, what sort of crafting to do set up proper uniforms, um, make the best, make another set of arch mage clothing or um, clear the mess of gear we aren't using. I could do two of these things too. I don't know, but you, you, you'll tell me. And Sashi, thank you for the resub and shield for the gifted sub and stochastic turtle for bits. Yes, this is now a heart shaped box and you are welcome. For remembering a, uh, a Nirvana song. Another thing we need to do is to uh, set up the schematics. Um, so 
So let's build some bone lecterns. I also might want to build a, like a dedicated library at some point, because this is looking a little jank. Just a little jank. Let's not make so much elvish bread because there's like nowhere to store it in the free. Well, I could build another shelf there. Store it like that. I think what we ought to do is to get rid of the simple meals altogether. That's what I'm going to do. You don't really need them stored in here. So freeing up the shelf space for fine meals or for, um, yeah. So perishable, perishable meals will be not dried bread, not packaged mac or packaged rations, and we are good. And I'll add more beds. I think it's plan on having lots of lovely organ donors and plenty of excess beds. Sounds right to me. So you guys want me to maybe set up proper uniforms and clean up the mess. Got it. So set up. Proper uniforms and clean up the mess. So the proper uniform. We already have the proper uniform for Archmages. Right? J Fry and Tal have Archmage stuff. Uh, I want a proper uniform for um, mages that aren't in Archmage. For Rangers and for Brawlers. Or uh, Knights. I'm armored. So let's manage the outfits. Um, I think the rangers and the mages, not an arch mage stuff are going to share a lot in common minus quivers. In fact, uh, Thomas still has a quiver. In fact, oh, probably a lot of them still have quivers on that I haven't removed, which I'll need to do. So arch mage quiver, you know, what? it's a good question. Quivers might actually benefit wands. It's, it's stupid, but that might be true. Range cooldown factor? Yeah, quivers help with wands. So maybe they should be called wand sheaves? I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, all right, so let's, let's set that up. So for the Archmage, quivers are still going to be allowed. So then we're going to have a new outfit of mage. And we have to figure out what our mages should wear. So for hoods, uh, like Thomas has an arcane hood on, which is fine. So arcane hoods will be allowed. So let's, let's set Thomas up first. So arcane hoods are fine. Um, if I do have extra hoods of protection or di uh, disciple hoods, that's fine. And then the other thing that we wanted was... Um, the helmets like turnip hats. So what helmet was that? Because what I might want to do is uh, figure out what the best possible leather helmets are available to us and just mass produce or not mass produce, but pr produce those so that we can protect ourselves. So the I'm not going to attempt to say this, but this helmet has a sharp of 61. The elf crown has a sharp of 55. Sharp of 59. So I think probably the Noladrin or whatever, Noldorin helmets are, are the probably the most affordable best ones for our mages. 
Question for you all. Should I attempt to make... Um, so if we, if we were to make Disciple Hoods for all the mages that aren't an Archmage, what would the cost be? I guess that's my first thought. So that is down here. Disciple Hoods. So that's 40 Magicite per plus leather or fabric. Um, should all mages get hoods? Yes or no? While we set up the uniforms. And then, uh, while you vote on that, the regular mages are going to be given... Oh, the stupid thing's bugging out again. The regular mages are going to be given, um... Rather than like the cloaks and all that, they're going to be given lamellar armor plus probably the same undercoating. So the linen padded surcoats and the chosses, the padded chosses. So mage in padded surcoat and padded chosses. Um, so with the archmage. We are not too concerned about hit point. Um, and the reason being is mages can repair gear. So tattered gear is not an issue. So I don't need to account for hit point percent. Um, looks like you guys want hoods. So I'm going to put everyone in disciple hoods. Then they're also going to wear a lamellar armor. And then leather boots, leather gloves. Am I missing anything? Boots, chosses. Oh, the chosses and trousers are different layers. Oh. Okay. We'll put the archmages and trousers as well. And then the mages and trousers. All right. Am I missing anything? Cloaks. Um, I think... Wanderer cloaks are really expensive. Supremacy cloaks are ridiculously expensive. Uh, Mantle of Protection is a little bit cheaper than Wanderer's cloak. I think if we're going to have a uniform, um, should all mages get cloaks? Yes or no? Have you decided that now? Because that's the last piece of this puzzle. Is there a middle layer armor to wear? That's another thing. Because we have skin and outer. Is there a middle? So let me look at the research here. This is middle and outer. So this is a sharp of 61. What is the sharp of the lamellar? Um, 39. So the other would be better by a lot. Let me look at mankind. Oh, those are iron. Those are like metal. I don't want my um, ages in metal. So maybe get them in Nol Noldoran elf armor for helmet or uh, for, for chest, which is middle and outer. Um, and then hoods and cloaks. You guys want cloaks. So you're pushing pretty expensive stuff here, but that, that, that's okay. In fact, the Gladrum is sharp of 70 and then this is sharp of 61. So I don't want them in Noldoran. Because it's worse. I could put them in capes, but I think that's suicide. So Galadrim Elf Armor. No, but Galadrim Elf Armor is metal. So yeah, never mind. I take that back. So Noldoran Elf Armor. Got it. So Thomas. The typical mage is going to be wearing... Elf... The... Elf Armor. And let me make sure I know what that costs. 
Because I also don't want to set it up so that it's like so ridiculously expensive I can't actually make it. Where is it? Oh, is it a smith? It probably is smith. I wonder how much metal it has. Because if it has a lot of metal in it, I'm not going to consider it as a valid one. Oh my god, look at this list. Um, I don't know where it is. The other thing I wanted to check is if the medieval um, mod... Nah, medieval mod doesn't really have anything appropriate for mages. It goes to metal pretty quick. There it is. So it does have metal in it. And it requires a crafting skill that Tal hasn't actually acquired yet. He's 13. So that is... Because it's made of metal, I'm not even going to consider it. I don't want our mages wearing metal. It doesn't make sense. And you guys want them to have clothes. So what would then be the next best thing? Maybe this armor, the Flathrum, or whatever it's called. And that is here. And that's not made of metal. Flathrum. So it will be Flathrum then. Unless the padded armor is better. No, 39, it's not better. So we'll do Flathrum armor here. Do until I have two. And then make it of heavy fur for now. Heavy fur, thick leather, panther fur. I'm going to reserve the thrombo. Only allowed ingredients. And only towel because everyone else sucks at it. So, mages. You are going to get philathrum. And then Disciple Hoods. And then... I need to figure out which of the two cloaks that we have access to as the default. So the mental protection is a little bit cheaper. It's a cloak that offers a bunch of um, con uh, working bonuses and then 30% arcane resistance. Whereas the Wanderer's Cloak is better for mages. So I'll make it a... I'll, I'll, I'll opt for the Wanderer's Cloak. Um, got it. Do until we have one of Magicite and, let's say, Mage Weave. Mana Weave, I mean. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do Mana Weave. It would be cheaper to do Devil Strand, but like, uh, we're mages. We'll do Mana Weave. Only allowed ingredients. Okay. So we do have the appropriate clothing for a mage now. Disciple Hood. Wanderer Cloak. Disciple Cap. So we need to queue up the caps here as well. Or the hoods, rather. Do until I have one of Mana Weave, Magicite, only allowed ingredient. And then um, we're going to want dedicated shelves for this. So for now, uh, I will build one of these shelves, stick it here, and this will be HUD. Cloak. Armor. Uh, I don't think I'm going to move the pants, chosses, gloves, or boots into this. So it will be specific to the elves because the, the pants, cho the pants and gloves and, and that kind of stuff are all shared amongst other, um, classes as well. So that was a lot to figure out, but, um, but yeah, that'll work. Tal, you're going to be a busy dude.
So that's a Man and Weave Wanderer's Cloak. Because this isn't built yet. And Thomas, you're going to be the first recipient. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Death of the Isle, which originally streamed live on Twitch March 24th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. Hope to catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Corsairs. 